So we created a domain by the name of Priyanka.local and now let's log into the domain. Let's log in. As, as you can see, the machine rebooted. Please understand, when you do this process, the machine automatically reboots. Yeah. And when it reboots, it reflects the name of the domain slash administrator and the default password, whatever you are using for the administrator, we'll use that and we will log in. We log in. Yeah. We logged into the system and now we need to see exactly what the domain looks like. What does it look like? In order to see what the domain looks like, what you're going to do is you're going to click on tools. And once you click on tools, okay. you will see certain options related to Active Directory. You would not see them if Active Directory typically was not installed. You would not typically not see them. And I can see certain options related to Active Directory. And if I want to see all the users and computers in the domain, I'll go to this option called Active Directory Users and Computers. I'll click on that. And I will see the domain. I will see the domain that we have created by the name of Priyanka.local. I see the domain. And uh, I will see certain folders that are already pre-created. There are certain folders that are already pre-created for different reasons. For example, there is a folder called built-in and there will be certain groups out here. Administrator group, backup operators group. There'll be a folder called computers. So if I'm adding computers to the domain, if I'm telling computers that, hey, there's a domain, you need to be a part of it. If I'm telling the computers like that, if I'm joining the computer domain, I will see the name of the computer out here, which I don't see, which I don't see because there is no computer yet in my domain at this moment. Under domain controllers, what I will see, I will see my own machine, which is a domain controller. I understand that it's a domain controller. So it is in a specific a uh, place called domain controllers. Under users, I will see some default created users and I can see also see the administrator user by which we logged in, but we don't see any more users. If eventually, we would need to create users on our own, right? And that's what we're going to do. But wait a minute. Do we have a client machine, by the way? Do we have a client machine? Let's see. Yes, we do have a client machine, which we have kept ready for testing the com complete environment. So now I'm going to the client. Why am I going to the client? Because I need to tell the client that you are going to be a part of the domain by the name of Priyanka.local. You're going to be a part of that domain. I need to give that information to the client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to London Client 1. I'm going to go to this client. And as usual, as before, First and foremost, I will go to computer. So I can go, to, go from here also. As you can see, the Explorer. Or you can click on Start and click on Search. Or I can go to the Explorer icon out here. Okay. And now I'll right-click the computer. Click on Properties. And if you notice, this client is in a workgroup mode at this moment. And you know what is a workgroup mode? Similar to your computer at home which is not a part of any infrastructure whatsoever. And we need to bring this computer into a part of an existing infrastructure that we have set up, a domain by the name of Priyanka.local. So we need to get it into that domain. So to do that, we are going to click on this option called Change Setting. And when I click on Change Setting, I click on Change once again. And here I will say, Domain, Member of Domain, what is the name of the domain? name of the domain is Priyanka.local and the moment I type Priyanka.local it gives me a challenge it gives me a challenge it is saying who are you who are you to add this machine to the domain do you know the administrator username and password yes I do know that I know the username is administrator and the password I'm using is P A dollar dollar W zero R D. I know that. So I need to validate myself. Otherwise, anybody will come and join the machine to domain. So that's not good. So it is posing a challenge to me. Who are you to do this? Who are you to add this machine to domain? And I say that I'm the administrator of the domain. And I also know the password. So I'm a valid person to add this machine to the domain. So I click on OK to this. Then I get an option which says, welcome to the Priyanka.local domain. All good. And I click on OK. And it says, you must restart your computer to apply these changes. Click on OK. 
and the changes will take effect. Now, as you can see here, right on the screen, what do you see? The full computer name has changed to reflect that it is London Client One dot Priyanka dot Local, and the domain shows as Priyanka dot Local. So, are we good? Yes, that's fair enough. Click on close. You must restart your computer to, computer to apply the changes. You click on restart now. And now you will see some different things happening once we restart the computer. We should be able to log into the domain. But wait a minute, let's do something extra now. Let's do something so that you understand this process completely. I will go to London SVR1 and I'll simply create a user out here. I'm simply going to create a user. Right click, new, user. And I'm going to call this user, user1. User logon name, user1. And I'm going to click on next to this. I'm going to set the password. Unless you set the password, and you've got to set a little bit complex password, alphabet, special characters, and numbers. It's not going to go ahead. So I'm going to set something very simple as ABC at the rate 1, 2, 3. And once again, ABC at the rate 1, 2, 3. And I will click on next, click on finish. Simply, I created a user by the name of user1. Why did I do that? So that I can test from the client side if I'm able to authenticate as user1. So let me go to the client, go to the client machine. I'll go to the client machine. And now let me log in. Then I control alt delete. And can you see it is showing me? London client one slash admin. No, I don't want to do that. Click on the arrow that's out here. Switch user. Click on other user. And here I can you see it says sign in to Priyanka. Yes, that's what we want to do. We want to authenticate to this particular domain. So can I log in as user one? Yes, I can. And what is the password? Whatever password I gave. Will I be able to log in? Wait, let me do one thing. Let me try as user two. Let's let me try as user two. Will it work? No, username password is incorrect. Now I'll try as user one. And authenticate. That's it. I have logged in to the domain as user one. And now what can the domain do? The now since the user is logged into domain, the domain can now control what can I do, what I cannot do. That will be the next part. But before that, we need to be very clear. We need to be very clear about how to set up a domain and how to join a computer to domain.